Okay, so now the base is dry after finally finishing priming. I know this is a look weird, but I'm going to. I have an idea on how to connect to this, which is pretty simple. Um, which I, I have an idea. So we'll get to that later on. Right now, I just want to do the overall painting on this. But it's been primed, and uh, I let it run, uh, let it dry for a while, so that way it allows me to work on the other things. And now I'm going to start painting it, and I'm going to be using some acrylic paints. Uh, first, I'm going to give it a base coat of brown. This is actually brown that I picked up from um, Richfield Hobbies, acrylic base. I don't have any regular brown in, uh, in acrylic. I might have to start looking into getting, like, um, paint specifically for terrain. I gave this a 50-50 mix. But basically I'm just giving it the brown undercoat first. wiring a bit because I didn't have any accessibility. Just didn't know how well I cut got some carpet issues. This. I was actually thinking about hand painting it, but we'll do that later on. Right now I just want to give this this little coverage first. Just uh, give it not too much of a darkness. Just enough for, for it to give it the high, you know, darker tone highlights. this dry, we'll move on to the next color in a few moments, after I finish this. As I am patiently waiting for the base to dry, and I'm about to paint the next layer, I'm going to begin weathering the uh, Zaku 2's here. I have two weathering products here, ground brown and multi-black. First, I'm going to need some some solvent. Put it in the tray here. And then try to. I, I think I used this before when I was uh, detailing one of my other kits. I think it was the last one I was the uh, GM Sniper 2. Oh, GM Sniper. GM number two custom. Oi dingo. That's right. It's a little rough, you know. I think I may have to get a better. Uh, maybe get a, a different type of a brush. I just, I just pulled this off from one of the containers. Let me see if I have something else. This is a little too hard. It's loosening up a bit. 
but I want something that I can at least spread around. All right, I got these two here. I'm gonna have to put this in a solvent to uh, loosen it up a bit. I'll use these two guys. One will for be okay. This one's gonna be probably for the for the multi black. I don't know why they did not put um, brushes here. It's definitely a required item, but they had their ideas and maybe they thought, oh, okay. I'm just gonna spread it, spread the love. Might be a good idea to put this on, um, pour this in another tray, and then use it, um, use it from there. But this is okay. Remember, the whole purpose is to give it that dirt and grime look to it. I should have gotten rust. I really do, because that would have probably helped me out with this. I'm going to put your arm up a bit. There we go. We'll get to that soon enough. would be great. And the brown, I'm going to do it by the, near the feet once we're done with this. Let's see how it looks. So now that I applied it and I'm, the other one is, I'm waiting for it to dry, I'm going to use these little, these little tools, these disposable fishing sticks from Wave that I had for a while to Carefully clean it up, and I'm going to dab it a little bit in this, and just clean it up a bit. I could, I could use regular toothpicks, but this is actually more in a different angle, and I think it would probably be better to use this. I mean, I'll probably end up using the whole thing, but who knows. Just to collect as best as I can. There we go. This is a lot nicer because even though, again, you could use toothpicks, toothpicks, not toothpicks, sorry, <laughs> Q-tips, um, there is a chance that the, the tip of the Q-tip will start to unravel and, and then you have that long line of, um, of, uh, of the, fill of the uh, cotton it's just flapping about. They have to pull another one out. This one seems to do its job right.
take a little bit of the Q-tip anyway. So let's I'm going to mix it up with the Q-tip that way even though it's not wet like that one it'll gather up what was left over I mean whichever whichever you want to use is, is preferred just giving you some options So the next paint that I'm going to apply to this is going to be Desert Yellow FX59. See, I've had this for a long time. I can't believe I still have this bottle. And uh, let's see how this works. We're going to do light passes here.
to admit, this is coming out far better than I expected. I was actually thinking it was not going to come out right, but with rocky terrain and all that stuff, a mixture of different types of color tones of red, of, um, of uh, brown and yellow and sand, it brings it out. It brings out the design features pretty well. The effect that I'm actually looking for. Alright, I'm gonna let this dry a bit. Um, I'll have to review it a bit further later on. Gotta get that connected a bit. I have something that I'm gonna try in a moment. So give me some time to finish it up and we'll do a final review. I'm also gonna um, put a little filters on it. Probably going to be using um, the weathering products like I just used on the uh, on the uh, Zaku ones, and then we'll just detail it up a little bit further, and then we'll display it, see how it looks. So give me some time to finish it up, and hopefully the next video will be the last. <laughs>